Baby, wanna whip with the boy for the one time Okay, maybe one time Roll it up and hit it for me one time Cruise around the city, duck it one time Shorty wanna whip with the boy in a free time Make a little weed time I ain't worried, baby, we gon' be fine Riding like we never heard a street sign I'm a great catch, baby, better act right Get the digits, hit it that night And I shine like a star, he a flashlight Keep my energy and cash right I be turtlenecked up cause the ice on my collar got it freezing It ain't even that season You came with a lane but you left with a winner that's treason But a good enough reason Baby wanna win with the boy for the one time Okay maybe one time Roll it up and hit it for me one time Cruise around the city duck it one time I'm really trying to get to 10,000 followers on Instagram. I need you to head over and give me a follow. Thanks in advance. Now onto the video. What's up you guys? Good morning, happy Monday. I hope you guys are doing amazing. Um, your girl just came back from a really, really, really good workout. Burned about 500 something calories. I went to Orange Theory, of course, and it felt really, really good because I needed it. I'm now sitting outside of Smoothie King, um, waiting on my smoothie to be done they had five dollar mondays if you picked up the order so um i ordered it instead of just going to the drive through i had to order it pre-order it to get the two dollars and 55 cent off so y'all know how i'm about saving saving a few coins so i'm waiting on my smoothie to be finished but um we're about to go home and get ready for the day this is going to be a very productive monday we have a bunch of stuff to do today we are getting ready to go on vacation at the end of the week so we need to do a little packing we need to go pick up some stuff at the store we got a lot to do girl and we're also going to get ready because um i got some new hair that i want to show you guys but um before we do well before we do anything girl make sure you go ahead and subscribe to this channel okay click the notification bell and also make sure you follow your girl on instagram at camellia yvette all right um this video we talk all about our corporate careers all about productivity and just being your best most amazing self and today i am actually off this week from work i have an entire week off because like i said we're going on vacation so um it's just going to be like vacation prep getting ready being productive all that good stuff um but first thing first did y'all watch the oscars last night and i realize y'all gonna see this a couple weeks after the oscars air but we can still talk about it girl did y'all watch the oscars last night will smith now i as i scroll through my facebook feed through my instagram everything er, there's a lot of people who are in defense of will smith defending his wife and look while i'm all about a good defend your wife honey okay i'm all about defend your wife all right i expect my husband to, to defend me at all costs because i would defend him at all costs right however there is a time and a place for everything just my opinion there's a time and a place for everything and if that if he felt now reports have coming out today that they already had some bad blood between them they've had words in the past i don't know how far in the past but they've had words in the past um and i do feel like one i feel like i do feel like the joke was distasteful however that's knowing that jada pinkett has i think it's alopecia or whatever where her hair is falling out that's the reason she shaved her head and bar ben, or granted that you if you know that yes that joke is very distasteful and it was just it was bad all the way around now if you didn't know that he's a freaking comedian i don't know what if you don't know like if it, it now if they had a will and, and chris had a conversation before chris knew all this and still decided to make that joke then I definitely it was in poor taste i still don't think you put your hands on nobody though especially not on a public stage like that now if you wanted to whip his ass he could have took him in the back I, I mean you know i don't condone violence but i'm just saying like you don't just walk up to nobody as a girl like i don't know i i just feel like as a grown man or woman do gr grown man or woman shit and there's other ways to defend your wife and to defend your family rather than walking up on stage at the oscars where you won your first oscar like this is arguably one of the biggest nights of your life and all anyone's gonna remember now is you walked up on stage and smacked chris Rock. Like, I just, I just felt like there was a better place, time, way to do it. And again, I'm all for defending your wife, but I feel like some of that, I can't help but to feel like some of that is misplaced anger from 
all of the other jokes about the entanglement and stuff that have been going on for the last couple years I can't help but feel like all of that is misplaced like some of that is misplaced anger and Chris Rock just got the brunt of it right because everybody and their mama didn't say a shit about Jada okay and that was the joke that you decided to take that you decided to take that personally and again I understand she has health issues that's probably something she's sensitive about I saw her face so she definitely didn't like that joke and I get it but I feel like that's something maybe he could have walked to the side of the stage and when Chris Rock 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 walked off been like let me holler at you in this room like why the fuck would you say that you know what I'm saying get a man a chance to apologize to defend himself something like y'all just walk up on stage and suck a slap nobody you know what I'm saying I, I just I ain't really rock with that and I love me some Will Smith but anyway I'm gonna go in here, grab the smoothie, and then we're gonna go home and get ready for the day. because I wanted to switch my hair I've been wearing the same hair for weeks now and so it was time for a little switch up so thank you to Janota hair for sponsoring this portion of the video so you guys I have been looking to try these V part wigs ever since I've seen them come out um, so they sent me one and I'm so so excited this is a V part kinky straight wig and it is so beautiful so I love kinky straight wigs because they go more with my natural texture of hair right and if you don't know what the v-part wig is it is basically a wig and it has these combs right in the front and so basically you put the wig on and you don't have to have any leave out out or you can have very minimal leave out out. So I'm really excited to see how this one works. It has four combs. So it has four combs right in the front and you just put the combs on the part here. So I did wash this hair already. I co-washed it. I'll give you a little video clip right here of me co-washing the hair and what it looks like.
So that's that. Super simple, super easy. I think one strand of hair came out throughout the entire washing process, which is amazing, by the way. So this is what, again, this is what the hair looks like. Definitely a texture for natural hair, right? So gorgeous. So this should be super easy to apply. These V-part wigs, I heard, honestly, you just put them on your head and you can go. So let's go ahead and get started with that. And then we'll go ahead and curl it with my trusty curling wand. All right, you guys, so they sent me over this absolutely gorgeous, beautiful, amazing 22 inch kinky straight V part wig. You guys, so these V part wigs have been seriously my jam lately because they are so easy to put on and they look so natural. So this was my first time working with a straight one. So I'm sitting here and I'm trying to figure out how to make the part look the best. But I found that if you roll the hair, just roll some of the hair over the track, then you're able to cover the track and it just looks super natural and like it's coming from your scalp. So here I am just playing with it. You have to really play with it to see how it looks best on your part. But you guys, I'm telling you, the V part wig along with this kinky straight texture, it is absolutely everything. Like this texture, I get so many compliments on this hair as I'm walking around or i went on vacation with the hair and i just received so many compliments it holds a curl so well and it just looks so natural because of the kinky straight so it looks like what my hair would look like blown out so just so beautiful you guys so take me in your hair and this kinky texture is seriously my jam this looks so good it was so easy to apply i love the density of this hair i'm i'm feeling it right now definitely feeling this hair right now i feel like i might take this on vacation this hair is gorgeous like absolutely gorgeous it was super easy to curl look how good these curls look yes oh yes loving this hair right now so make sure you guys use my discount code my exclusive discount code the link is down below in the description box if you guys are looking for some new hair this v part wig is everything i have been i've been pretty much over the lace friends it's just too much to glue the lace down in my head it's just too much this is literally a throw on and go wig and that's what i'm looking for all the time something that looks super natural that i can just throw on and go and I don't have to leave out any, I don't have to have out any leave out, but I can use my own parting. So there's no lace involved with this whatsoever. You don't even have to like figure out a closure. I feel like this is going to be my new type of wig, right? So if you're looking for one of these, make sure you check out Janota Hair. Thanks again to them for sponsoring this portion of the video. And let's continue on with our day. All right, y'all. So I just wanted to show you my little outfit before we head off to Target. I'm wearing this like ribbed shirt that I want to say I got from Amazon last year. I also got these jeans. These are Topshop jeans that I got from Nordstrom. 
and these shoes I got from finish line I believe a while back so that's what I'm wearing today and we're about to head off to Target as well as where else are we going we have to go to Kohl's to take something back an Amazon return so let's go Whoa. For a little word Trust yourself and you get hurt Tell yourself it's so absurd For little words For little words I hate it when you're like this You never get excited Struck by lightning Don't hide it, no Don't hide it, no I was looking on their website So that's when I saw all this like Levi's branded shit Yeah Cause I was looking on their website And they got a bunch of Levi's stuff They leave us prices too. Fifty dollars for some shirts. I can't afford that. It's out of my price range, even though. Oh, they don't sell for thirty nine. These look really cute. I do like these a lot. But let's check out the parties to Arizona. Sure thing. I know. Yeah, oh, that's it. Yeah, that's all I buy. Oh my god, y'all. How cute is this dress, though? It's so cute. Do they have it in a medium? They do. Oh my god, this dress is so adorable. This dress is so adorable. Do I not love this dress? Do you like it? what's up y'all first of all let me show you these curls because this hair is like holding up so nicely the curls look so good like this hair is everything i love the thickness i love the texture i love it all anyway um what was I going to say to y'all? Oh, so I just came from, I picked up all the kids and then I came from the grocery store, went to the grocery store and tonight we are going to cook lamb chops. I'm going to make some mashed potatoes and I'm going to make some broccoli and some dinner rolls. So I went to the store, I needed a few more lamb chops and I also needed some more potatoes. So I picked those up. So instead of getting the lamb chops with the like the like bone in it, I got these right here and these were like expensive they were $12 for just these three when I went to the store last week and I got five of them for $13 so I definitely went to a more expensive store today which whatever everything's kind of going up but I needed some extra lamb so I had to pick them up so we're gonna make that for dinner but I don't want to start it yet just because um Mark doesn't get home for like another hour and 15 minutes so what I do want to do is get started with you guys on um packing my makeup so I wanted to pack my makeup with y'all now um, like I told you going on a trip at the end of the week and I want to it's just a long weekend so it's Thursday through Sunday and I want to only pack one one of each makeup product except for lip products I want to pack probably like three lip products but other than that I only want to pack one of each like normally I'll pack two foundations two this two that uh -uh. one of each makeup product is what we're going to like hold ourselves to so I'm, I'm hoping I can do this that is that is my hope that I can do this um 
yeah that's what i'm hoping so i've already picked out a few things but i'm gonna show you guys and i'll show you everything together when i finish picking it all out but oh i did some filming today and i picked out a few let's put this here oh that's perfect i did some filming today i picked out a few things um but I can't seem to decide on the foundation. So on my face today, and I'm really, really loving it, is the One Size Turn Up The Base BBB Cream. Look at that. Bam. Okay, so it's this One Size BB Cream. And it's a mixture of the One Size and the Marc Jacobs Extra Shot. This has been my jam, like dream combination together lately, right? Let me turn on some more light. Hold on. Just turn on my ring light. So that's been my like dream combination lately. And that's what I think I want to bring. But I said I only wanted to bring one thing, right? So if I only bring one, there's a cross between the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation, which I absolutely love. I'm in the shade Cadiz in this one. Or the Sephora Matte Perfection Tinted Moisturizer. One or the other. And I'm almost thinking the NARS. Because the NARS will give me the coverage. Um, it'll give me the coverage I need. But it also looks like skin. It looks really good. I think I just answered my own question. So I think we're going to bring the NARS. I also have out um, some palettes. So I'm trying to figure out if I just want to bring some palettes. Let me tell you, we're going for a wedding. So one of our friends are getting married and I'm so excited for them. They look so cute and so happy together. So it's going to be in Arizona. So it's going to be hot. It's going to be humid. Um... So I need something that's going to hold up. So I definitely know I want to bring this primer. It's the One Size uh, Secure the Blur Primer. This is such a good primer, y'all. It's, it's so good, right? So I definitely know I want to bring that. Now for like the face, I'm trying to decide for the wedding I want to get super glam. So I'm trying to decide if I want to bring a cream base and then powder powder um bronzer and blush and all of that you know because that's going to be a long day i'm going to have that makeup on for quite a while like seven or eight hours maybe even a little longer so i want something that's definitely going to look good and going to last all night i know for highlighter options i'm definitely going to bring this guy right here it's the huda beauty rich glow um, sessions we're definitely going to bring that for highlighter options but for blush and bronzer i'm trying to decide if it's better to bring like some bronzer sticks and some like a bronzer stick just one a bronzer stick and a powder bronzer and then a blush stick and a powder blush or just a palette like this because this palette definitely does everything, but it doesn't have like that really deep, deep bronze to really like chisel things out, which is what I want to do for the wedding, right? I want to just get crazy glam for the wedding. Okay, I know I want to bring this guy as my little baby loose powder. Definitely want that guy. Definitely want... Do I have enough of that? Yeah, I do. My one size setting spray. I'm definitely going to bring that as well. I love that stuff so much. And for concealer, I'm going to bring the Anastasia Beverly Hills Concealer. This is the most beautiful, like, hydrating concealer. I love it so much. Okay, so we need bronzer and blush. Let's go see what we have. So I keep my stuff over here. Let's see. For blushes, this is the top, my top drawer in my... My makeup drawer is here. I could bring this new blush from Thread Beauty. I just got this like blush stick. I could bring that. That's really cute. But I also have like these cute little baby from e.l.f. That could be a contender. But I also love as well. Um, oh, I forgot about this stick from ColourPop. This is a good one too. And then these little pop blushes from elf and then i also have some from nars i have this baby from nars which is really cute a nice color 
I have this from Merit Beauty, which I love, and it's easy to apply. Ooh, this is going to be hard. This is going to be hard. And which powder book? Oh, I forgot I just bought this, y'all. Look at this. I forgot all about this. I just bought this NARS Duo. It's a bronzer and a blush. The blush is beautiful. The bronzer, it's a, it's more of a red bronzer, so it's not really like a, a chisel your face type bronzer, but that's really pretty. I have this blush stick back here from Milani. Oh, I have so many cute blush sticks that I could bring. Um, oh, another one from Milani. Is this blush or bronzer? No, this is blush. It's just a really, really deep blush. Okay, for potted blushes, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know, you guys. Um, This is also such a gorgeous color, right? Okay, I think I want to, oh, I forgot about my Fenty Cream blushes. Those are good, too. Okay, so this blush is gorgeous, and I think I want to wear something like this to the wedding. But I think for every day, oh, I forgot about this. What is this? <gasps> I forgot about her. She's cute, too. I think I'm going to do this for the wedding. We're going to take that Huda Beauty one for the wedding. For bronzer, I want something that's going to really, like, chisel the face, right? I want something that's super cute that's really gonna, gonna chisel me out. This Tower 28 bronzer is really pretty, and it's, like, nice and kind of gives those beachy vibes. But I think I want to take a stick. I think I like a stick for this occasion. This is really nice. Too. I like the Charlotte Tilbury one, but I think I might actually go with this Anastasia one. Let's see. All right, the lighting over here sucks, y'all. Sorry. Hold on. Hold on. I'll get you out of here. Oh, that's super red, though. That's like super red. How about this Rare Beauty one? That's a little deeper. Still kind of red, right? Oh, uh, what do we have? Oh. This thread one, I feel like is a little too dark. I don't want to be that. That's too dark. I think I'm going to go with this Rare Beauty one. I think we're going to go with that one. And then for the powder, I'll just follow it up with the Fenty, um, the Fenty powder bronzer right here. And this one's in Coco Naughty. All right, y'all, so we're going to take a little break from the makeup real quick. I think I picked everything out, but we're going to take a little break because I need to start dinner. Yeah, I need to start dinner. So, like I said, we're going to make lamb chops. We're going to have dinner rolls. We're going to have potatoes. And I just need to get the broccoli out, and we're going to have broccoli also. So, I'll put a little music over this, do a little time lapse, and show you guys how I make my lamb chops. They're so, so, so good. I recently got into lamb chops maybe a little under a year ago. And I buy them maybe once a month for the family. They are uber expensive. So um, I try not to buy them too much, but I do buy them like once a month for the family and we have lamb chops for dinner. And tonight is that night. So let's go ahead and get started cooking. <laughs> Thank you. 
looking so good, y'all. We got the lamb chops here. The potatoes, I'm about to mash them up. Got the broccoli going. And the dinner rolls in the oven. Yes. Woo, y'all know I love me a good meal. Hey peeps, what's up? It's the next day. Look, I know. Okay, um, this is I'm such a shitty vlogger. I was supposed to finish this vlog yesterday. After I cooked dinner, I didn't do nothing else. Like, I was just tired. I did a little editing and that was it. But before I pack this stuff up, I wanted to show you guys the makeup that I'm taking on my trip. Let's move this because it's a little... There we go. I wanted to show you the makeup I'm taking on my trip. If you want to see anything from the trip, like, um, we're going to vlog the entire trip. But all of my travels usually go on the vlog channel, Bradley Party of Six. That's where this trip will be. So if you guys want to see the actual trip, head on over to Bradley party of six by the time you see this the trip will already probably be live so or be coming very soon so make sure you're subscribed to my vlog channel as well um but yeah let me just show you all the makeup that i'm taking i haven't packed or took out my brushes yet so i may do that with you guys too and you know what i just came from a workout okay i know i look a hot mess but your girl just came from a workout so excuse me but um i think i pulled out all the makeup that i'm going to need i'm trying to decide if I'm missing anything how do I do my makeup I do primer brows I think that's everything I think that's everything I think I got it all out okay so um, let me just show you guys what I have I do need some eyeshadow primer hold on okay y'all let's get into this makeup I got it right whatever we'll just focus on me and I'll just show y'all because I don't have a good angle right now so let's start we'll go in the order that I do my face and this will help keep my checklist again I always think I'm missing something you know so the first thing I do and this is not skincare or anything so I will be um I'll go ahead and add skincare later Oh, thirsty. Okay, I'll go ahead and add skincare later, but let's just start with makeup. So the first thing is primer. I told you guys my Secure the Blur primer. That's my ish. So we're going to take that is the only primer we're taking. I told you guys I wanted to try as much as possible to keep it to one item per um, per category. I didn't do that exactly, but you guys will see. So next we do brows. I brought two brow pencils because only because I don't know how full either of these are. These are my two faves at the moment. Y'all know I still love my Huda Beauty, but these are my two faves at the moment. It's the uh, Precisely My Brow Pencil and the Brow Blade by Urban Decay. So Benefit and Urban Decay. Excuse me. And then I also have the Anastasia brow freeze which is my fave for just giving me kind of those bushy brows that I like so I have that for brows for eye primer I am bringing the milk makeup this is the hydro grip eye primer love 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 this stuff it's a newer one in my collection but I absolutely love it for eyeshadow, I only brought this one palette and I was debating on even bringing this because I don't know that I'm going to do eyeshadow. But just in case I feel like it, these are some really beautiful rosy tones and my dress kind of has like a rosy pink hue to it. So I think this will be perfect and I can use this for daytime or for nighttime or whatever I so desire. Like I can make any type of look with this palette. Y'all know these are my jam and I usually only travel with these but... I chose that one. This is the, the Nude Rich Palette by Huda Beauty. For foundation, I decided, I, like I said, to go with the NARS Light Reflecting in the shade Cadiz. I love this foundation. It'll give me coverage. It's skin-like. I can do a lot with this foundation. And then for concealer, I'm going to do the Anastasia Beverly Hills because that's also a great concealer. Under eye powder... I, it was a cross between this, my Laura Mercier, or my um, Hourglass 
under eye powder but I decided to go with the one size just because it is a tiny little travel baby and I didn't want to bring a full size loose powder it was just unnecessary so I went with that one for face powder this is where I did bring three of them however I always use these two together I hardly ever use these separately so it's the Urban Decay All Nighter Powder. This is amazing for keeping you matte, keeps your makeup on all day. It's supposed to be waterproof and this is just, I mean, this is just a beautiful powder. That one's like utility, you know what I mean? That one's like, I need to stay matte, I need to stay looking good the entire time. That's going to do it for you. Then we have the Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. I love the way this looks and I absolutely love the way these look together, right? They're so beautiful together. And you see I hit pan. Your girl's using up her stuff, right? Then I also wanted to bring, because this palette is just really nice as like a finishing kind of dusting powder. So this is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette and this has dim light, incandescent light, and radiant light in it. And I just mix all three powders together and they make the most beautiful finish on the face. These This palette is not to be slept on, okay? It is not to be slept on at all. So those are all of my face powders, right? Then we move into blush, bronzer, and highlights. So for bronzer, I decided to bring a stick bronzer and a powder bronzer like I showed you guys yesterday. So for stick, I brought the Rare Beauty. This is a newer stick bronzer to my collection, but I absolutely adore it. So this is the Rare Beauty, what is this called? Um, Full of Life Bronzer Stick. And then I'm bringing the Fenty Bronzer in Coco Naughty so I can sculpt my face however I so choose. I'm bringing a, this cream blush. This will be so pretty for like every day, like during the day, just to give me like a nice flush. This is the Tower 28 blush in Beach Please. No, it's the Beach Please blush in the shade Golden Hour is what it is. And this is so beautiful. And then I'm bringing these two little face palettes just in case I feel like switching it up. So this is the Sephora Micro Smooth Palette, the deep one. That is, it's just beautiful. It has a bronzer, two blushes, and a highlighter just in case I want to, you know, switch things up. And then I also have this Huda Beauty Highlighter Palette because these are the highlighters that I will most likely use for the entire trip. I love these so much. Okay let's get into the lips for lips i'm bringing four lip shades and i'm bringing these two nars air matte lip colors these are so beautiful they make such a nice gorgeous like neutral lip and i can wear those with anything so i'm going to bring those i'm going to bring a classic red this is the Too faced melted matte in cinnamon bear and then I'm going to bring this color right here, which is a nice, like, deeper mauve shade. And this is the NYX Powder Puff Lippy in the shade Moody. So we're bringing that. And then I'm going to bring one lip gloss and probably a lip balm. And the lip gloss I'm bringing is the Fenty Beauty in Glass Slipper. Just a beautiful, clear lip gloss to top everything. And I have lip liners, of course. So I have this red. This is the NYX um lip crayon in plush red i'm gonna bring that i'm going to bring lip liner by dose of color in the shade cork this beautiful brown shade and then i'm gonna bring this other nyx retractable lip liner this is just a deep plum lip liner and then i just have an hourglass eyeliner as well like a pencil eyeliner that is it that's that's the only makeup that i'm bringing oh and of course my one size setting spray because we're going to be in the desert i'm going to need a setting spray but that's it that's all i'm bringing not bringing anything else so i'm going to show you guys real quick the um the case that i brought to pack my makeup and toiletries so i bought this from amazon and i'll link it below but this is the case that i'm going to put all of my toiletries and makeup in i have this one case that i use all the time but I lost the little hanger piece to it so that's the reason I loved it so much was because it had the hanger like this and I lost the hanger piece but 
This is really nice because it opens up and then you can hang it up obviously in the closet or on the doorway in your hotel room and it fits so much stuff. Like I said, with this being only a weekend trip, I just feel like I'll be able to fit everything in here. My makeup, my toiletries, my perfume, all of that. So all of that is going to go in this bag and then that's going to hang out obviously in my suitcase. And that's it you guys that's all for this vlog i hope you guys enjoyed it i know this is gonna be a long one but it was a long productive day yesterday and then of course we just finished it up today so i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog like i said if you want to see our travels make sure you head over to the vlog channel and check it out there i love you guys so so much thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel and i'll talk to you in the next video bye guys